Hello everybody and welcome. This is History Dude and today we will be continuing our series on the history of battle with the Battle of Caudine Forks which occurred in 321 BCE. Now the Battle of the Caudine Forks took place during the Second Samnite War which occurred between 327 and 304 BCE. The Roman army led by consuls Spurius Postumius and Titus Veturius Calvinus was ambushed in a mountain pass in the Apennines. Samnite general Gavius Pontius blocked both ends of the pass with felled trees while his men occupied the heights on each side from where they rained down missiles. In a hopeless position, the Romans surrendered. The Samnites released them only after the Romans had accepted peace terms and succumbed to the humiliation of, quote, passing under the yoke, which was an arch formed by Samnite spears. Now, the Roman Senate rejected the terms once the men had been freed. <clears throat> This battle took place in the Apennine Mountains in southeast Italy. The Roman forces are unknown, the Samnite forces are unknown, and there are no reliable estimates for the casualties. But here you can see a depiction of the Battle of Caudine Forks, where the Samnites were raining missiles down upon the Roman legions. Because at this time, uh, in the 4th century BCE, um, perhaps provoked by shock defeats at the hands of the Gauls and Samnite mountain tribesmen, the Romans began to develop the legion. In its early form, this was still a militia with citizen conscripts serving for the duration of a campaign and then returning to their normal lives. Each citizen legion, numbering 4,500 to 5,000 men, was twinned down with a similar sized legion drawn from Rome's Italian allies. The whole force was commanded by a consul, an elected politician. Perhaps surprisingly, many of these amateurs were excellent commanders. And that is about all you need to know about the Battle of Caudine Forks. As always, this has been History Dude, and remember to have an awesome day.